going to do this warm summery coral makeup and it's been my go-to look so far this summer so I really wanted to show you guys and I know that you like my more creative character looks but I hope that you like this more wearable look as well and now let me show you how it looks like up close. So I've used a gorgeous coral shadow on the lid and I've used a brown one in the crease and also along my lower lash line. I hope you enjoyed the tutorial and let's get started. First I'm applying the Urban Decay Primer Potion to prevent the eyeshadows from creasing. So as a transition color in the crease I'm going to use this one by Makeup Geek called Peach Smoothie and this will just make it easier to apply the darker colors that I'll be using later. The next eyeshadow that I'm going to use in my crease is this darker corally brown from the Meat Matte Nude Palette by The Balm. After that I'll be using this medium brown from the same palette and as you can see I'm applying it directly into the crease and just bringing it a little bit up into the other colors. To bring some warmth to my lower lash line I'm going to use this yellowy orange by Makeup Geek called Chica D. Here I'm just going over that with the medium brown. To further deepen up the crease, I'm going to use this dark brown called Matte Wood and I'm just placing it at the outer V area. I'm also applying that color to the outer one third of the lower lash line. As my brow bone highlight, I'm going to use this eyeshadow by Inglot in number 353. I'm also bringing that down into the crease to blend out those crease colors even more. To get a nice and clean line at the outer corner, I'm using that same highlight color to fix that shape. All over the lid, I'll be placing this coral eyeshadow called Ruby by Makeup Store. To add a little more dimension to the look, I'm going to use this orange shade at the outer one third of the lid. Uh, this one's called Sunrise and it's also by Makeup Store. As my inner corner highlight, I'm going to use Shima Shima by Makeup Geek. To line my eyes, I'm using the L'Oreal Super Liner in Carbon Gloss and to get the best result, it's easiest to just do some small strokes at a time. Next, I'm applying the Maybelline 1x1 Mascara. Filling in my lower waterline with the NYX Jumbo Eye Pencil in Milk. Then I'm setting that in place with the same shadow that I used on my brow bone. For false lashes, I'll be using these ones called Au Naturel by House of Lashes. Here you can see the completed eye makeup. For my contour powder, I'll be using the Too Faced Chocolate Soleil Bronzer.
For blush, I'm going to use an eyeshadow, and it's the same coral one that I've got on my lid. As my highlight, I'm going to use another eyeshadow. It's by The Balm, and it's called No Money No Honey. I'm going to go all out and apply coral to my lips as well and for that I'm using the Melted Coral Lipstick by Too Faced. Okay guys, so as always I hope that you like the look and let me know if you want me to do more wearable looks like this. Uh, thank you so much for watching and I hope I see you for my next video. Bye bye!